want to wish Derek a happy birthday. I want to wish Stretch a happy birthday. Shut up, Paul. Um, I know. Um, the, but those are two people that are instrumental to this organization and to me. And uh, so excited for our players. Go ahead. Talk about the ability of Derek to run, especially in the first half. Just kind of dictated the tempo of the game. Certainly did. And that, that has to be, uh, you know, the formula. You know, when we look at things and then we study it, taking care of the football, you know, do a better job of that. But to be able to run the football take, uh, and stop the run um, was huge. And, um, you know, we're appreciative of everything he does and the way our offensive line and the tight ends and fullbacks, you know, everybody takes all 11 to run the football, but, but certainly um, Derek's a huge part of that. How, how uh, secure does that make you feel as a Well, there's a lot of confidence in, in his ability, uh, his toughness, his durability. Uh, he, he cares a lot about this football team. And, um, you know, I'm lucky to get to coach him and, and, and these these players. Huge, huge, and, and that's uh, you know they they were gaining some yards, hitting some screens, and um, but but as long as we have an opportunity to play defense, that's that's our job is to go play defense. And um, I thought our guys responded, and, and they they attacked the line of scrimmage, they tackled. Uh, and to be able to come back and, and turn that into points uh, and score, uh, you know, was huge. And to shut them out in the second half, um, really, really proud of our guys and, and thankful that I get to coach them. I'm sure there's always a share of each, but how much did things kind of go according to plan and how much did you have to adapt to plan? Well, I mean, that's kind of how it goes. And they came out in the second half with a little different front uh, defensively, something that we saw, you know, last year um, against us and other teams. But... Um, you know, when you can run it, when, when the other team knows, knows you're going to run it, uh, that says a lot about uh, your running game. Third, you, you got a nice though. special teams contribution. Brett's punt down by Dane there at the one. Can you talk about how huge that was? Well, just the, the, the entire game, uh, just being able to operate and function. Um, you know, I, I thought we punted the ball. I thought we protected. You know, this is a team that, that had blocked four punts, and we were very conscious of that, and that was a huge key for us. Um, and to be able to execute there at the end of the game you know, goes a long way. Um, and we're going to continue to need that. You call this place the Viper's Den after last week's win. What is it that allowed you guys to be so dialed in? Because it seemed like you were that way. I, you know, I think our players were just, um, they were ready to go. Our coaching staff did a great job um, to have them prepared. Um, to, to, you know, I told them to win the game, you're going to have to be mentally and physically uh, exhausted you know, to, to win this football game. Anytime you're, you're in man coverage, they're going to try to, to pick and rub you. Um, there's going to be you know, gadgets or you know, throwbacks or whatever there may be. Um, defensively, they're going to do things that are going to force you to think and, and Ben and, and Ryan and, and make calls. Um, we, we didn't hand them anything. And that, that was the one thing that uh, they feast on bad football. We didn't hand them anything. And um, you know, I don't think our guys um, you know, spent too much time staring up at those banners. Uh, it does, you know. I mean, it, it, I'm 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 honored to coach these guys, and uh, there's no other team that I would rather have, have come in here with um, than the one that was out there on the field. And uh, I'm thankful that I get to coach them uh, another week. How, how good was it to Logan after dropping one early to get a chance down to kind of help play? You know, we just got to continue to take advantage of opportunities. You know, we had one early, uh, Daquan and, and and Logan, but you know, we go on to the next play, and that's what you do. Um, so it was good to. To be able to execute there at the end um, against a team that's so good uh, situationally. It's been a while since you had to kind of rely on the on the defense. You guys have been scoring so many points. Uh, how impressive that they were kind of able to shut down. Time. Shut them out in the second half. Shut them out in the second half, and uh, that's, a, that's a testament to our players. You know, they they really responded. Um, you know, played played well on third down in the second half. Um, our offense you know, was 50 percent against the number one third down uh, defense in the league, and you know, it was tough sled and throwing the throwing the football, and uh, but we kind of expected that. Uh, we'll have to get some things fixed and, and get moving here and, and, and get healthy in a hurry. I'm sorry. Uh, we talked about running the football, stopping a run. You know, there's a lot of different ways to win the win the games in this league. So what's play great defense. What's the celebration like after this one? How quickly did you have to put it behind you? It was a uh, quick speech and. Um, I, we're all excited. You know, we'll enjoy it. 
Um, but we got to get back to work um, quickly, and we have to get as healthy as we possibly can, and uh, and get ready to go on the road again. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're a reason that they're they're good. They're well coached. Um, you know, I just didn't, you know, I'm very comfortable coming into this game the way our guys uh, just prepared, um, the way we started the game. I thought Kenny, thought that Kenny, and I know a lot of guys on tape, but when you, when you feel those hits on the sidelines where I'm standing and you see the line of scrimmage uh, on offense uh, go the other way, I, I felt pretty comfortable. And I knew that there was going to be some ups and downs in the game, but um, you know, early on, I thought our guys were ready to play, and um, and again, I'm I'm thankful that I get to coach them. This team had some ferocious rivalry games with Baltimore. What's your early thought on, on matching up with them? Um, you know, just just a huge challenge. You know, of what they've been able to do in all three phases. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have to find a way to try to slow them down. Um, you know, but for the next 30 minutes or 40 minutes, I'm I'm going to be. Um, appreciative of our football team and our players for, for playing um, as well as they did tonight, um, as hard as they did, and believing in each other, the, the effort and the finish, the foundation of, of our program uh, in Tennessee. Yeah, I mean, those, those rarely happen. You know, I mean, you find a way to punch it in, and our guys um, dug in there and got some great calls, great execution. Rashawn and, and Simmons pushing the line of scrimmage back. Thanks, guys. Yeah.